Welcome back, guys. We're gonna go back to that security room. Wow, I wonder why people in academics always gotta look so goofy. Oh, this year had the monkey room. Hmm. Nothing of interest here. There we go. Aha! There they are. I can see them breaking into the office. I'd better make a printout. It's a picture of those guys who broke it's into the university. Guys I wonder if maybe someone could help me identify them. Heroes, gas charger in the first chapter, of the game. So we saw them. I think it was like in the first or second video, or like once we completed the first chapter. Hmm, looks like these boxes are full of old university paperwork. We need to get some. I doubt Professor Moorhead is hiding in there. Paper. And that ain't gonna work. Wow, looks like Lena and Moorhead have done a lot of reading. I got to load it with paper first. Nah, there's nothing worth taking here. Let's go back to Sinclair Square. Hey, do you mind if I change the channel? This aerobics thing is getting a bit, uh, samey. This is aerobics finals. Very important show. Oh, wow, um, <laughs> never mind then. Bona, no mess with TV! Ba yeah, Bona. <laughs> you should probably yeah, back off before he starts TV throwing TV knives throwing again. <laughs> okay. Hmm, they must be carrying something that interferes with the TV. Do any of you guys recognize the fellas in this picture? Hmm. I'm afraid not, Buona. Wait, wait, we don't go. Uh, I didn't need to go that far, guys. <laughs> what? <laughs> Aerobics championship! Where you go? Lousy reception again! Take a deep breath, honey. No, I hate lousy reception! Sabo, stop! I kill you, TV! Sabo! Sorry, Makina. I get <laughs> new TV. <sighs> didn't realize if you say so, honey. Juana, who messed with the TV, he was chuckling the whole entire time until the sub will threw the knife at the TV. Let's see, can I use this? Alright, Mr. Bunny, the time is up. Time to go back down to the. <laughs> that was oddly satisfying. Again. <laughs> I snuck it in his pocket. What's up, Pablo? The revolution's so, what's up, man? Why we need this guy. Hey, Pablo, isn't it time you bring in the pain? Yeah, let's do it, man. More talks and fight. Hey, Piggy, watch out. They're totally gonna ram you hard. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 
You can't ignore the revolution! It's coming for you, man! <laughs> I think it worked! So, uh, Sarge, what do you make of all this? I don't know, Bombshell. Situation's looking real grim. They're cooking up some pretty nasty stuff behind the barricades, that's for sure. As much as I hate to admit it, maybe that reporter's right after all. Maybe rock and roll ain't enough to save St. Armando. Yeah, it's about time we added some explosiveness to our act. Put the pyrotechnics to some real good use, know what I mean? I hear you, sister. There's no chance in hell we can just shoot our way through the barricades. We gonna need a better plan to stop Marobo and the power company. <laughs> Kinda funny, ain't it? What? Now all of a sudden you start listening to the mainstream press. Oh, you in love, Sarge? Ha ha, very the, funny. The reporter. That ain't gonna work. Yeah, well, I see. Hey, Buana, any luck with that lady friend of yours? Oh, you mean Gabby? Yeah, man, she's cool. So, uh, is she, uh, you know, like I'm saying, uh, your lady? Ah, uh, no. Why? Oh, uh, uh just asking. Uh, gotta remember who the enemy is, man. <laughs> well, I see, I can see straight through you. He's making it too Busted. Obvious. You find more head yet? Nah, no, not yet. Make it sure you're not they, asleep they down there. <laughs> what are you crazy? Oh, here, let me show a photo to these guys. We're gonna need to anyway. Recognize these guys? Yeah, that's the Bosey brothers. Ooh, those are some real tough guys. Cold-hearted crooks, working from down on 42nd Street near the downtown subway station. Yeah, but you better stay away from those guys. You mess with them, you're bound to get hurt. I have to find them. They're my only lead to finding Professor Moorhead. Well, I wish you luck, man. This Moorhead guy might just be the key to finding the weak spot in the wicked plans of the power company. This could be the magic bullet the revolution has been waiting for, Buona. All right. Time to head downtown. This game is rigged. Give me another quarter, Saskia. This time I'll definitely nail it. Sorry, Isabel. That was our last one. Oh, so man. I just can't remember how we got Whoa! Are you guys?
guys playing Super Metal Commando? Well, we were playing it, but that damn last level keeps eating our quarters. Ah, the Metal Moon Base, right? Right. Space turrets keep busting my shields. Yeah, I remember those. That used to be mine and Kito's favorite game when we were kids. Hey, this ain't no kids' business, all right? We're reclaiming our turf. You playing with the crew? You with the laser punks? Because this here is cheetah territory. So you better back off or we're gonna dice you, man. Hey, cool it, ladies. I'm no laser punk. Good, because the only good laser punk is a game over laser punk. If you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Good one, Saskia. You ladies heard of the Bozy brothers? Sorry, man. Never heard of them. They a crew? I don't think so, no. How about a professor named Moorhead? <laughs> Step off, man. You think we're some kind of hosers or something? We don't hang out with no schoolboys. Yeah, cheetahs don't mingle with academics, I. Right? <laughs> you guys too cool for school, huh? You slammed it, man. If the streets can't teach it to you, you ain't gonna learn it. Word. What's your beef with these laser punks anyways? It's a turf war, man. Everybody knows the downtown arcade is cheetah territory. Laser punks are trying to disgrace us by topping our high scores. So they beat your high score, huh? Well, maybe they're just better than you. <laughs> Laser punks better gamers than the cheetahs? No way, that's bent, man. We built our empire on pure hardcore gaming skill. We're wicked wizard on this. Yeah, everybody knows the only reason those lame laser punks keep stealing our turf and beating our scores is because they jacked the tin store and cashed up. And now we're all out. We've been feeding this thing beans all day. I'm surprised it isn't bleeding quarters by now. So what's new downtown? A lot of heat these days. With most of the cops tied up with Morobo's silly-ass barricades, the rest of the city is going wacko. Nobody's watching the streets. Yeah, the turf wars used to be pretty friendly. Sure, we had a couple pretty messy boot parties with the other crews, but we settled most of the beef in the arcades. But without any piggies around, it's turning into a full-scale gang war, man. Yeah, you gotta watch your back these days when everyone's packing heat. It used to be high scores, fists, and boots. Now, it's knives and Uzis. Robberies everywhere and fume heads rolling their brains out all over the place. With Mayor Morobo at the yeah, helm, the city's in some real deep shit. Tell me more about the street gangs. Well, the raddest of the rat are us cheetahs. We're the wizards of downtown. Can handle just about any machines except uh, maybe some of those lame jock sports games. Ooh, are the rude boys still around? I remember them gaming in our neighborhood when we were kids. Sure, the rude boys got the heights as usual. Trying to push into the financial district, but the Howlin' Hawks are dope and always put up a good fight, especially with platformers. Rude boys ain't got a chance there, even if they're pretty sharp on the pinball machines. Then, there's the jocks. They mostly hang out down in the subways and will mess with anyone who tries to lay a high score on one of their lame old football machines. But who cares, really? Yeah, real games have explosions. Lots of them. Amen, sis. All right, ladies, stay high. Like, uh, See you around, dude. Me, they're, top, uh, they're talking about video games, okay? I bet that arcade machine is full of quarters. Too bad my jackhammer is out of gas. We'll get it filled up again. Aha, this must be the place. Well, hello, handsome. Hi, lady. Lady? Well, aren't you a true gentleman? I'm Rose. Pleased to meet you, sugar. You can call me Buana. Sure, well, why don't you come a little closer, place. Buana? And I'm gonna let you guys figure out what kind of job she has. I'm not gonna talk about it, but she'll kind of go in, she'll, she'll go into a little bit. That's right. Make yourself comfortable, sugar. Gets awfully lonely when my phone isn't ringing. Slow business today. I'm looking for the Bozy brothers. Oh, those hoodlums. 
You've come to the right place if you're after those fellas. They're up on 65. But you better stay away from them, darling. They're real bad boys. Someone ought to teach them a lesson and give them a spanking. A good, proper spanking. That's what I'd like to give naughty, naughty bad boys like them. Have you been a bad boy? <laughs> uh, no, oh nope, definitely not. Oh, that's a shame. What you doing here? Mostly smoking. Oh, I love smoking. But I'm on the job, too. Cool. What you working with? You see this phone, honey? Yeah? It's a long-range satellite phone. I can take the job with me wherever I go. I put my life savings into this, darling, and it's already paid off tenfold. You make money with a phone? Sure. The world is full of desperate, lonely, sad people, Buana. It is my calling to help them. For a meager ten bucks a minute, they get, uh, professional adult friendship. Counseling. <laughs> That's awfully friendly of you. What can I say? I've got a big heart. So how's business? Let me tell you, Buana. I've been part of every racket you can imagine in this city. That's I used disgusting. to be a dancer. I was real good, Gross. too. I can swing my fur like no other. No, I no. do have no. fine fur. I still no, got some no moves you. if you care for a peek. Just remember, I can be pretty intense. You know what they Gross. say. He who dares not grasp the thorn should never crave the rose. <laughs> right. No thanks. Your loss, honey. The years may have She's taken a great. minor toll on me, but my Her voice remains essentially anyway. delicate as ever. Nice block you got here. Yes, it certainly is. However, I fear they're gonna tear it down like so much else these days. I do hate to see it go. I was born and bred right here on this very corner. Sold my first dinky here and lost my apples in that dumpster over there back in 48. Oh, the precious memories. This should be a sanctified landmark if you ask me. Gotcha later, lady. Oh, do swing by again, honey. And if ever you should feel the sad veil of loneliness overcome you, remember, yeah, right adult away, friendship boy, counseling can here. save your life. This window is full of notes. Here's one that says, Important message from management. Warning, running all washing machines simultaneously will result in serious infrastructure overload. I don't know if I'll be able to get past here though. Okay, never mind. This is Rose speaking. Well, what a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Orville. 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 Such a sensual name. In bed? Yes, oh yes I am, on sheets of silk. <laughs> I can see why this place is condemned. It's falling apart from the insides. This is definitely the kind of place I'd expect to find the Bozy brothers. Man, that ain't gonna work. Free gas! You never pass up free gas! Oh man, it's empty! Hmm, I think I hear voices inside. Hey, Bosey, how long we gonna be stuck in this joint anyways? The building's about to get wrecked, you know. We gotta stay here because the boss says to guard the professor, alright? Gotta keep four eyes here out of trouble, see? Well, uh, how about we just kept the professor at beat it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you kept the professor, you explain that to the boss, okay? They've got Professor Moorhead! I gotta find a way to save him!
So I need to get gas now. And, um. borrow your telephone oh sugar I'd love to share but this is my livelihood we're talking about here I'm using it for my uh, friendship counseling lest I find some other business opportunity capitalizing on these poor lonely shameful souls is a burden I must bear you help me come up with a better racket than this you can borrow the phone all you like oh, you two Flippin' pig from the power company. Just ignore him, Saskia. Hey, you two with the funny hair! I'm talking to you, you muppets! Funny hair, huh? huh. What do you want, Baldy? This 42nd Street! So what if it is? Got an order to prepare the block for blackout. Prepping for the barricades. Is. This. It, you moron! Why don't you go shut down your own block, Baldy? Hide <laughs> on, Isabel! <laughs> Ah, oh, a lot of help you are, you bloody street trash. See how funny you think it is when I get the order and I shut down your little playhouse there. Bloody low life, you make me sick. Yeah. Don't like Buzz off, like Baldy. Down That's a nice one. All it needs is a little push. Okay, hold on tight, mister. <laughs> nice! All right, let's fill her up. Yeah. Let's go back to uh, downtown. I'm pretty sure that doesn't need drenching in gasoline. Ha! After all these years, I'm finally gonna get to show this game who's the boss. Hey, step off, man. What you doing? Ha-ha! <laughs> Who's the super metal commando now, huh? Awesome, man. That's some mad wizardry, dude. Yeah, thanks, man. Now get bent so we can beat these laser punks once and for all. Ha-ha! <laughs> we got to by the balls now, Isabel. You ever know when some quarters might come in handy? Yeah, I bet you got quite the hangover from that party, sugar. What happened? Well, somebody, not pointing any fingers here, made havoc with the laundromat. Oh. 
<laughs> you should have seen those poor hoodlums running for their lives, yelling for their mommies. No, oh, it was a professor. sight to behold. Hello, Professor. <laughs> One is here to the rescue. Oh. Uh, thank you, young man. Listen, Professor. I brought you some very important data. The Underland and Saint Armando are in some serious danger, man. Meanwhile, our company. Well, if it isn't my favorite politician, Mayor Murrow, what gives me the pleasure of your beautiful smile? This is no pleasure, Paul, I assure you. If you don't start delivering on your promises soon, this pact of ours is going to cost me the election. What is your status? All is going according to plan. We have recently acquired the information needed to activate the source. Keep the people at bay, Mayor. Your power is coming. Chairman, St. Armando is about to catch fire. And we need doors. I'll personally see to it that you're the one who burns first. Deliver the power now, or I'll pull the plug on this whole operation. Oh, believe me, Mayor. The power is coming. And it will be so much more than you ever dreamed of. Oh dear. According to these plans, we only have a few hours before they channel the Underforce into the Thermoplasmic Accelerator. What the hell does that mean? He's saying the power company is going to turn the entire city into a bowl of smoked beef jerky by the night. Unless we stop them, yes. And how exactly are we going to do that? Well, with plastic explosives, of course. If only we had some. No, no sweat for us. The resistant rockers got the full arsenal. Excellent. I just need some sort of remote detonator. Something that can broadcast a trigger signal to the explosives. All right, let me see what I can find. If we all work together, we can do this. Now we are going to need someone who can help us infiltrate the power company skyscraper. Hell, I say we just drive right in and kick the door wide open. No need to infiltrate. You try that and you sorry ass is gonna be blown to Neverland right where it belongs, fool. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? I'm infiltrating, bonehead. Well, why don't you go infiltrate somewhere else, huh? Listen, I've got the intel required to get us inside the power company building. Hey guys, one is right. We gotta work together on this. The big question is, how are we going to get through the barricades? Don't worry about that, sister. Barricades are going to be a piece of cake for our propaganda truck. Hey, Keto, what's your status? <laughs> it's looking pretty good, but I'm going to need some help over here, Moon. I'll be right there, buddy. Well then, sounds like we have a plan. Excellent. Now, Gabby, show us what you got. Hope you guys, I will leave this episode here and we'll continue the next one. Thanks for watching.